you speak a little English. What makes you say that? Have you visited the country? Or you met few people? We take education seriously. I see that this woman is just like very salty about um, Americans going to um, exploring their options outside United States. We are beautiful outside and inside. We are smart and smile really nice. And we cook really yummy, aloy mak mak. And we voice really cute. They are the one who complains about cooking and serving for their men. They are the one who complains that taking care of the man is considered a maid and a slave. Welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. Now, I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to get right into this, guys. I got another one. It's more Filipinas striking back. What's happening is the women back home are striking out and saying stuff out of their mouth. They don't even have no idea what they're talking about. And that happens a lot back home. The only men who like to go overseas to find a partner is men who like to prey on vulnerable women. This is what these passport men are. They're just looking for women they can go to other countries who know their place, know to submit. They were saying they are going out of the country to look for love because black women in America are L's. Black women in America having standards is an L. They don't know you're starting to see why guys have left the plantation. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. Right? Because it is like a plantation. Guys want to escape. Not, and not necessarily escape. Guys are leaving peacefully. Of course, we're shouting to the mountaintops for other men to follow. Why would it be, right? If you see how bad it is, if people are insulting another country, it's really that bad. Like when Austin Holloman say it's that bad. It's your passport. is that bad. It's really that bad. He's right. It's really that bad. So you see that now. Filipinos see that. So... I'm going to get into this. I'm not going to hold you. Let me hop right into it. Yes. Uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm -hmm. like women can, that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education. And so a lot of people are tagging me in this video. So this is my opinion. I see pure ignorance. You said that Filipinos need help or uneducated or can speak a little English. What makes you say that? I only act like I know everything. Have you visited the country or you met few people or maybe you heard it in the news shows you know in my country philippines we take education seriously because that is our way out of poverty not all the time but most of the time and there is no need to drag other people down just to lift yourself it's screaming insecurity emotional damn it and this is the thing english is not our first language we can speak two languages can you so just because some Filipinos can speak English fluently, does that mean they're not smart or they're not educated? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. And also, in the Philippines, you have in certain areas, like in Cebu, you have someone that speaks Cebuano. Thank you very much. Tagalog. Tagalog, pakihatid po ako sa your location that you're going to. English. And the reason why they speak three or four different languages sometimes is because they got a lot of Filipinos from other places that come, so they speak Tagalog. Also, in Cebu, they speak English fluently. Also, everywhere, all over, all over the country. But a lot, a lot of times, you'll find a Filipino that speaks three languages or four languages, but definitely two, no matter what. They usually speak two, and that's just a known thing here. But I'm going to hop right into another one. Um, I don't want to say something that you guys already, of course, you guys already know about the language thing. Let me hop into the next one. Uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Like, women can that can speak very little English. Women that don't have and, education. And Girl, you're wrong. School system in the Philippines, both private and public, use English. Textbooks, examinations, discussions inside classrooms, everything English. And English should not be even the basis of someone else's intellectual capabilities. It's just a language. I see that this woman is just like very salty about um, Americans going to um, exploring their options outside United States to look for their wife material partner. And I'm not saying I'm taking pride of like because Filipinos are, are willing to like uh, submit to men. No, because we are natu naturally nursing and very loving and caring towards our loved ones it doesn't matter if it's our partner our family our parents our siblings whatever relatives whatever if we love them we care for them and we take care of them period that's it 
And that's true, man. Like, um, I even seen in my comments, right? Guys are like, this one lady said, oh, yeah. She's a nurse. And she's taking care of a guy. And he had a, he, he had a nerve to say this, but it's cool. He said, hey, man. She had no idea that Filipinas were in such a crazy... I don't know why, because a lot of people know that, right? But what happened was the guy said, hey, I'm so happy that you're Filipino. F to the I -L -I -P -I -N -O. I'm Filipino. And he said, she said, I had no idea Filipinas were in like that. And of course they are, right? For your, the same reason why you're a nurse right now. Guys love that nurturing and... They love that friendliness and that togetherness Filipinos show naturally. And like this, she just explained herself. That's why a lot of Filipinos go into those fields. They go into the nursing field. They go into things with hospitality because they have it. But um, anyway, guys, let me hop right into the next one. This is from my friend here. This is from my friend I've reacted to her before. Let's get right into it. Do you have a husband? Why are you using black men for attention? Well, I have a darling. I have a boyfriend far deep. On top of that, I have many black friends. And guess what? What? They are choosing to give me a lot of attention, my dear. Right, my handsome kings? Good. Thank you for giving me a lot of attention. I love you very much. Mm. Yes, and um, also with Helga, right? Helga deserves the attention. Ever since this has started, right, with the Passport Bros, she's been shouting to the mountaintops, right? Because she gets it. She sees how bad it is. So, a lot of BM sisters are mad at me because apparently I call them Ainas. Um, I don't recall saying the word BM are Ainas. No, 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 no. I did not say that at all. And some of my BM sisters actually ask me nicely if, Hilga, is it true that you called us Ainas? And I was like, nope, it is not true. And she even calls women hyenas and it's true right from the cackling the cackling and all that, and you see even filipinas are getting that response for, that we got for years so she's been responding to it and then she said then who are the hyenas well ladies and gentlemen the hyenas that i'm talking about are the one who don't appreciate their men they are the one who don't serve their man. They are the one who complains about cooking and serving for their man. They are the one who complains that taking care of the man is considered a maid and a slave. And she's been showing God's love, right? And it has nothing to do with wanting to be with somebody. That's just the Filipino nature. Because you know, ladies, hyenas are the ones who complains a lot and whines a lot. They don't want to do any work. Heck no. Now, ladies, if you are one of the hyenas, comment down below and show yourself. And if it doesn't apply to you, then you should not get mad at all. Okay, so now you know who are the hyenas. She's naturally a Filipina. So she sees what's happening. She knows black guys are cool, right? Helga's cool. So of course, we're going to show that love back, right? That's why she gets the attention. But anyway, let's hop right into the next one, guys. In my opinion, I think you're trying to build some kind of network between you, Filipino women, and black men. <gasps> OMG, how did you know, my friend? Well, I'm going to tell you something, and it's only a secret between us, okay? So, shh. Don't tell anyone. Promise? Okay, good. I'm actually trying to build an empire, and I'm gonna call it Black Fino Empire. And you know what? That empire will happen very soon. You know why? Black men love making babies, and Filipina women love giving babies. And that is so perfect because both parties are fertile. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. now you know 
That's funny, man. But that's how it goes. All in good fun, right? But she's so she's serious somewhat. Don't sleep. She's serious somewhat. Check her out on TikTok, Helga Babushka. Go like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You can check out it on YouTube as well, Helga Babushka. But guys, I got more for you. I got more. It keeps coming. Now, this here is, is a comment. It's from MS Options. He said, the women in those countries are so ran through. Every time a plain load of men comes through their country, they service them with hopes they'll hit a licks. What are you talking about? And eventually get a green card and come live life in America. They are on a constant rotation. Yes, there are opportunities like that, but if my husband thinks that the best move for us is to stay here, and I see that, that we have more money here, we save better when we're here. So you just gotta talk it. Once again, guys, you see this? This is, this is, uh, this is why Filipinos are striking back, right? Filipinas. And also one from other countries. Because they don't they're not only saying this about the Philippines, they mean this, they have these same feelings towards Thailand. Like you say, my English is not good. Because English is not the mother language. English is my second language, so I ask myself why I have to study about this language. But one day I know myself when I want to have a Falang's boyfriend, I have to study English because I have to talk with them. So I learn how to speak English and now I can speak a written beat. That's it. Just my boyfriend can understand me. Everything fine. So the lesson why the Falang, they want to have Asian white. Because we are beautiful outside and inside. We are smart and semi really nice. And we cook really yummy, alloy mak mak. And we voice really cute. They are kind and really friendly. That's why they like Asian women. Don't be sad, girl. Man, they looking for the wife, not for the boss. Emotional damage! Towards Vietnam. They're talking about pretty much all these countries, because don't get me wrong. The, that type of tourism does happen here. But that's such a small percentage of the population and you know what these women don't know is that most of the population looks down on that you know that's like point zero 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 you know that's a lot of zeros it's that that's how small it is so it's being highlighted by these women because they know there's some guys that are sex pets that do travel for that but for the most part guys are coming over here looking for marriage oh absolutely guys are looking for a wife they're being provided about they being provided that i mean the women are providing them so much love I, and I, I i even spoke about you guys see my videos right my videos are showing the guy i forgot his name penis on demand i think penis as far as <laughs> today right um he actually he was over 500 pounds got a filipina took it to the u.s bought a bought, she wants to come back now you know, I got my guy Denzel, who's about to bring his lady over there. I got, I know plenty of people that are over there right now. Actually, I want to get an um, interview from one that I know is out there. Another passport bro, older gentleman. He actually brought her out there like, what was it, maybe six years ago. They're still together. So much success in the, in the U.S., in the Philippines. I mean... You can't hate on it, right? It's but so much hate you can give. But it's going to keep coming. It's going to keep coming. And it will never stop because these women right now, this is their this is their last final option. It's to bash everyone. That's all they can do. Bash everything. Filipinos are thriving. Filipinos are now starting to make more income because of it. And yeah, that's just the Philippines, right? The Philippines is a country that's on a rise country overall of course the dollar per hour is low but because of services like bpo because of those things and come and get into uh, opportunities like that right philippines is changing a lot also you have filipinos that are all over the world OFWs is one of the biggest incomes for the philippines so filipinos are Thailand, everywhere, They're Vietnam, any any place, country you can think of, Filipinos are there helping that country and that society and, and sending money back home. So, guys, this here is a, is a lesson learned 
for the woman back home. And I, I can tell that lesson was learned from before when it first started. But this just shows the Philippines is not playing. You say something about the Philippines, they will speak up, they will strike back, and it will continue happening if women keep continue talking. And it seems like it's going to happen for a while because the back and forth is not stopping. Because if one woman responds, there's one back from the community child that's going to respond again and just keep it going. And I hope this ends, actually, to be honest with you. I hope it ends. Let the guys leave. Guys are leaving for happiness. Why would the woman, think about it, why would the woman talk to us in the first place from guy, for guys leaving? Guys are leaving, finding success, and getting bashed for it. The reason why is because winter is here. But you know what? It's nice and warm in the Philippines. There's no winters here. There's no winters here for the men that are coming. <laughs> right? So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, you're welcome to support my, my content by giving a small donation at PayPal. You can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And there you can buy me a coffee or you can book a consultation with me. I have consultations for a very small fee. Also, I have consultations for working at home. So if you're a guy that's a little younger, not quite retired yet, and you want to work from home while in the Philippines, you can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And also have a packages for working at home. So you'll see them there. You can book it there. At the bottom of this video, you'll see thanks there. You can give a thanks and make sure your comment is highlighted. And you can give a small donation that way as well. Guys, in the description, you'll see other videos of my other content that's great as well. So you can be sure to watch my other content there. Thank you for watching. See you next video.